In this first step, we'll create a basic attributes for a new cube. So we'll create a retail analysis. In this area, we'll add a fact with the name of uh, retail sales transaction and look for the first uh, table that will contribute in our fact and then the second one we can select any related one retail transaction table as there are more keys table relations we delete this one in most cases uh, we get the right relationships but we can also edit it later we select date transaction date we select uh, amounts so we go select in amounts in line cost amount discount amount net amount let's say tax amount select quantity we select some of the enums that are usually status across both tables these three from in this stage we create field from date from enum you can write a nice name transaction name inventory status and entry status as we used to have it from here and from rate table we see all these related tables from one of the following tables in the previous step so either from a line or from header all these following tables are related to this so we can start with the currency because it's connected to the currency and we write the correct table so currency code is related with effect through this one here so inventory table will be our item table it's connected to item table let condition to item ID in line we'll select again the customer existing table customer because we have selected a sales cube therefore we have this retail channel so retail channel will be a new table from table okay and uh, that's okay um, quantity it's a quantity it's good to have the same names in that warehouse as well as in a cube uh, so cost amount is cost amount it's also good to have it the same and this one is the opposite sign now need amount it's a uh, need sales okay so we'll put this as a need sales tax amount sales tax amount which is be consistent with namings put everything into the capital like this uh, this one is one this one two and discount amount just write discount amount okay let's fix this to like here and what we'll do is all the uh, MDX so I'll just do a year to day quantity on year to day and uh, yes we are good to go here now this is generating and uh, deploy and process so let's see the result of our first part we have need sales, cost amount, discount and quantity 
um, compared by over time. Okay. And uh, we have created also uh, measure groups like year to day. So this is all working fine then. Okay, and uh, if you look also, uh, the dimensions are down here. So status, record, and so on. Customer, by business, by chain. Okay, that's cool. Uh, 